in today's video i wanted to review southern california beaches versus spanish beaches i will use this criteria that will give us the best perspective so you can decide for yourself which coast you like better make sure you watch till the end to find out which country has the most blue flag awards for the cleanest beaches i lived and worked in los angeles for 20 years i explored i learned I had my struggles and I succeeded. I created jewelry for A-list celebrities and now I welcome you to join me as I explore the world. Hello everyone, this is Antoinette and I'm a jewelry designer working remotely from Spain at the moment. There's so many different things about um, these places and a few that are similar like the weather the weather in california and spain in southern spain it's uh, pretty similar first for me it's the water here in spain pretty much throughout the whole year you have warm nice gorgeous water and in the pacific it's really cold and unless you're surfing not very many people are surfing um you have to put a suit and then go in the water we only had a couple um, places in Malibu where the water is uh, warm. It's like a certain current that gets uh, that gets a little bit nicer, and that's in August. You can see that LA is cold to freezing water six months of the year, and six months with cool water. And in Valencia, May and November are equal to the warmest months in Los Angeles. The rest, it's incredibly pleasant. The other thing is uh, everything is really accessible here in Spain and they don't make a big deal about it. When it comes to bringing drinks at the beach, which is forbidden in the States. So we're having a gin tonic here by the beach and usually they serve it with um, peanuts, but now we're having pontillas, which are uh, little baby octopus and you can eat them with um, like a mayo and a lot of lemon <laughs> very crispy oh my favorite in order to reach the beach in la you need to get up really early as parking it's a nightmare it's very expensive to park near the coast and in most cases lots will be full and you will have to find yourself a spot far away from the beach just things are pretty um, easy and effortless here and and they're a lot more regulated and and stiff in the states um, and also like it, it, from Valencia to any of the, um, the coastal cities in Spain you can just hop on a train or, or rent a car or get your own car and just be here in um, 40 minutes to an hour and just pick a beach without even thinking too much they're all gorgeous and a lot of them look like private beaches and they're not private. In the villas and houses that are around um, on the Californian coast, they're, they're really, really big, unnecessarily big for maybe two people living in there. And here in Spain, things are not as over overexposed, and so are the prices. Affordable and buy or rent. But yeah, it's uh, it's incredible to to just be able to to enjoy a sunny day and without thinking, overthinking, and planning it too much. I don't think I've seen a more scenic coast. It's, it has so many hills and it's like hill after hill after hill with houses and just this pristine water. The coast here in Spain, it's so diverse. You have some super soft sand beaches. 
and then you have the pebble stone uh, beaches like El Alteo where you have to wear special kind of shoes so you don't hurt your feet. And then beaches like Calpe, they have big rock formations and it's so green everywhere. It reminds me of Hawaii a little bit. It's a very, very thick, um, very thick uh, flora. And also they, they have many fortresses like medieval uh, castles and all these things throughout the coast. And you really can make a choice between getting into something that it's much more private and quiet or you enjoy somewhere where there's a lot of activities and, and people just um, having fun with the different water sports. Uh, it just depends on your mood and you can pick your place and, um, and have fun. And some of them, they have big, um, big rocks where you can just uh, lay down and, and enjoy, enjoy the sun. Um, and now we're here, close to the Shark Rock <laughs> in, uh, in Kalpe. Oh, and in case you get tired with the mainland, you can just hop on a plane from Valencia and in 40 minutes you're in the Balearic Islands, uh, Mallorca, which we had an incredible time. And there's so many other, like Ibiza, the Party Beach, and the Canary Islands, and so many little different islands in Spain rather than in uh, in California we only have Catalina Island I've never been it's probably good but nothing compared to Spain shallow beautiful and clear water Spain has almost 600 blue flag beaches. Which are indicating the most clear waters, sands and marines throughout uh, Spain or the world. That's a big ranking for blue flag beaches. And it's a lot. Spain maintains its leadership in blue flag beaches uninterrupted since 1987. As you can see, you can't get too far without hitting a great clean beach in Spain. Unfortunately, the US does not participate in the blue flag awards, but it's hard to imagine them ranking as high as Spain, which is number one in the world. I'm currently in Valencia and this region is number one in blue flag beaches with 20% of all Spain. If you still haven't seen my website, please make sure to do so. I have been designing and making fine jewelry for 16 years now and I'm sure you can find something you like on my website. I decided to create a special discount only for my YouTube subscribers, so please make sure to use the code 15SOFIA and take advantage of this great opportunity. If you enjoyed today's video, please click like and subscribe. Uh, YouTube algorithm really pushes the video forward if uh, people are liking it. So I would really appreciate it if you uh, click like, subscribe and notification button. And I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.